This video is for instructional purposes only. The information presented is just one point of view. It is not intended to replace the individual recommendations and follow up with a qualified naturopathic doctor or herbalist. I use and recommend Nature Sunshine products. However, uh, the views that I express are not necessarily those that would be expressed by Nature Sunshine. Um, I'm Dr. Jane Semple. I have been practicing in Northeast Ohio for over 23 years. Uh, we're here to talk to, uh, today about Parkinson's disease. Uh, Parkinson went from an underdiagnosed disease in 1994 with about 80,000 people being diagnosed with PD with over 2 million Americans currently uh, with the Parkinson diagnosis. Um, we lose a small number of our dopamine producing cells each year. Um, by the age of 90 to 100, we would all be showing some signs of PD. Uh, symptoms that you might look for if you have some concerns are uh, smaller handwriting, if your voice has become softer, and also we look at, um, it's called pill rolling tremor, and it is when the thumb and forefinger seems to roll against the forefinger. Um, PD also tends to be one-sided, so it would be left or right, not usually both. Um, you would have difficulty walking, sometimes feeling stuck in one place. That is especially true when the floor pattern changes abruptly. If you are walking through, say, your dining room into your kitchen and the floor pattern is different, your brain will literally stop you from making that step, thinking that you're falling off, going to fall off of a cliff. Um, some of the quick checks that I do when someone comes in and their physician has diagnosed them uh, possibly with Parkinson's disease is one is splaying the hands. Um, a normal person can open and close their hands at will, but a Parkinson person cannot. They would usually open them a couple of times. The hands would begin to not open completely or the fingers would be going together. Also, if you put your hands onto your lap and then you turn palms, if you can do this, again, that is not a sign of Parkinson. If you cannot, then again, you may have a problem. Parkinson person, after a few times, would have difficulty, especially with one of the other hands. Um, what does conventional medicine have for Parkinson? Actually, in 1957, uh, dopamine was first discovered, and L-DOPA, a drug to replace it, was developed in 1961. It had horrendous side effects. Later on, they paired levodopa with carbidopa uh, for Parkinson. It had a terrific advantage and really has helped Parkinson patients. However, anything that has been developed later um, that was supposed to reduce uh, the breakdown of dopamine, all of these drugs have been very, very disappointing. Um, there have been no major developments uh, in the past 50 years. None of the developed drugs have slowed the progression, and mostly what they've done is simply increase the side effects. So my suggestion is until very, very late stage Parkinson that what you want to do is something natural. When I have someone with Parkinson disease, the basic program, even if they would only do two things, would be SAMe uh, in the morning and then 5-HTP in the afternoon. Uh, vitamin E, CoQ10, and green tea. Uh, vitamin E and CoQ10 have a really a great deal of research behind them. Uh, very protective to the dopamine producing cells. Uh, green tea, a lot of research again. And then I would recommend also some of the essential fatty acids. Uh, the GLA, which is a plant-based omega-6, or flaxseed oil. Again, very protective in Parkinson's disease. Calcium, especially, you can do a calcium magnesium, a two to one. You can do a, a skeletal formula that is a calcium to magnesium one to one. Um, also, just a general super supplement uh, that would be a good high dose multiple vitamin is also excellent. Um, exercise is very protective in Parkinson's disease and something that I really do recommend that you do. There have been very small studies on almost all of these um, these and other nutrients that have all been shown to be very, very positive in Parkinson's disease. And I would ask why there have not been larger ones. And the answer is because supplements are not patentable.
And so when you find a supplement is helpful in a disease, you're not able to patent that. So therefore the research is not being done. I contacted one of the Parkinson Foundations many years ago uh, when I was first pulling together my book on Parkinson. Um, and I asked them why they were not funding more studies, why all the funding was simply being uh, spent on drugs. And all that they did for that was simply took me off their mailing list and I never heard from them again. So if you are currently giving to a Parkinson Foundation, um, any of the Parkinson um, charitable organizations, I suggest that you save your money. I don't really feel that they're trying to help you very much. I would like to thank you for listening today. And if you would like more information, please do pick up my book, Parkinson's Disease, A Naturopathic Approach. It is published by Woodland Publishing and also available online from any online retailer. Thank you.